Hi everyone, I wanted to quickly show you some new toys that I made for myself and I did actually list all most of these in my Etsy. I still need to put the um, features set up and the mini set which is the really tiny ones that you see but the medium sized one and the larger ones um, I think I actually call them small and medium those are actually available but <clears throat> a lot of my students have been requesting some new face stencils from me so that was kind of one of the reasons why I put these together and then immediately I thought you know a lot of people probably want to see how are these useful so you know if you're a fan a super fan of my art then you might want to just use them as they are but what if you're learning to draw faces or learning to paint or you just want to paint a style that's different than yours um, I decided to put together a series of videos so there are two or three more coming that show you um, using them in a way that you are able to kind of customize them and make them your own. Now if you're super brave you can start out with acrylics uh, which obviously once they're dry they don't move um, but I really also like to paint these differently than the way that you know maybe they're initially drawn <clears throat> so in other words the way they come when you just get them so not only do I swap stencils like I'll use a different different one for the mouth or something like that but I'll also use other mediums other than just ink or acrylic so here I've used gouache to kind of get a face started on another one I used a distress stain ink um, to start it and then obviously there's one with acrylics but for today I'm just going to show you the one that I started creating with um, I put the initial stencil down with a really thin layer of gouache as you know uh, gouache can be lifted and moved um, here I'm also showing you that I'm doing this on just like a mixed media paper not watercolor paper so the gouache didn't move uh, as much as you might imagine it will um, it definitely does sort of you know fade and soften if you really get it wet which is what I did on the eye on the left side but the eye on the right side um, I just just kind of started coming right in with my watercolors um, and I paint this I think mainly with watercolor other than you know the beginning start with gouache you can also start with watercolor you just need to be careful not to have a lot of water on your brush or I mean on your sponge you want um, also if you're using a sponge in the shape like mine is kind of a rectangle on the end I sort of squeeze it a little way up to cause the, the corners to lift so that I'm not um, putting down a, a, a hard edge I'm getting using just the center of it if you use one of those makeup sponges that's already round like the egg shaped ones you don't have to worry about that either um, but since I use these really cheap ones um, they are kind of square so I just um, squeeze it in order to apply the gouache down without getting a lot of really hard edges also I chose to use a very light fleshy kind of color uh, depending on the you know the portrait you want to paint you might want to choose to use something that's more neutral or you know pick a really bright color and go from there which I think I do when I show you the painting for the one that I start with acrylic again like I said um, the medium that you choose to start with is up to you but I wanted to show how you can kind of start with a really light color really soften it and sort of go from there Otherwise, I'm just going to finish painting this one out and the next video will be the one that I showed you where I started with the acrylic on a, on a journal page that was already in progress, which is another thing. If you put a bunch of stuff down, you know, like you do a bunch of layering and you wonder, you know, okay, I want to kind of put a face here, but I don't really feel that comfortable drawing over top of all the stuff I've got here these stencils can be really good for that because it sort of gets you started um, and again like I said you can use the ones even the ones that have like the hair and stuff already done on them um, you can also just put um, just stencil the features themselves and draw your own hair or your own um, 
other accessories like i have some that have flowers in the hair you don't have to stencil those if you don't want to so they're pretty versatile they're a great way to get you know beginners started with faces people who just want to paint but don't really care that much to learn to draw faces or people who just kind of like my style and want to play with it so they're not for everyone but for those of you who might want them you can check out my Etsy the link is below and I hope you are doing well and staying safe and sane and I'll see you with the next video